make it happen today. Today, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know how we gonna get all this in here. I don't know how we gonna get all this in here, but guess what? We gonna we gonna make it happen. I got a lot to show y'all, but I don't I don't know how I don't know how we gonna make it, but we gonna make it happen. We gonna we gonna make it happen today. I ain't gonna waste no time. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right into it. All right. Who who ready for the day? Who y'all got y'all got some value yesterday? I want to make sure. I saw my guy Nicholas. He took he took some fast action on some stuff. I got some stuff to uh. I got some stuff to show y'all today. I don't know how I'm gonna get all this in today, but I'm really going. I'm really going to try my best. Um, as y'all know, I like I like really really taking my time. But like as I was going over my notes from yesterday, I'm like, dang, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some stuff. I'm gonna really really try to get it in um, because it's all about it's all today is all about leads. I already said yesterday was excited executed. All right, so today all about leads, right? Um, and I, I just want to give y'all my mindset on the way that way that I think about the way that I think about leads, right? I don't think I don't think anything singular, right? Like, dang, how can I just put one post up? I'm always thinking about how can I be in multiple places, you know what I'm saying, at one time. Right? The also the thing that I think that I think about leads is um I showed you guys yesterday my pipeline. I showed y'all like 19 million. I'm like, yo. I got to execute on all the people that's coming in my pipeline and talking to them while acquiring new people, okay? <clears throat> um, the most expensive thing that you can that you can do is market to the wrong people. So some of the things that we're going to be talking about today is just really just how do we find questions that people are asking? What should our content look like? How can we be in multiple places at, at one time? Like how can we be visible and how can we tap into different resources because y'all like I'm gonna be honest with y'all like <clears throat> a, a lot a lot of people is not like a lot of people is not using AI to its full potential so I'm gonna show y'all like some so I'm gonna show y'all like some some cool stuff on what y'all could do as far as research um I'm gonna show y'all some cool tools but a lot of it y'all is just like when it comes to leads it just comes to to data research okay it just comes to being able to do enough research about the market, see what the market is asking you, and then saying, okay, cool. How do I capture that attention? Or how do I make the attention sway my way? Does that make sense? It, it, th th this is an attention game, y'all. Like, if you could get eyeballs on your stuff, and you can capture three seconds of somebody, and you could get them interested for three seconds, guess what? You got them. And how many times can we, how many times can we do that every day? Also, I want y'all to think about um, when it comes to like leads and stuff like that, right? It's only a few ways to get leads. You could do it organically when you're posting all day, like I like to do, right? Um, you could partner with Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, all of those things, and you could go buy it. You get what I'm saying? Or you could go borrow it. You could partner with influencers and things like that. You could borrow their audience, okay? So it's not too many ways that, other ways that you can market. So... <laughs> it, it's just like yo, you. I mean, we, we showed y'all the referral game yesterday, right? But it's only it's only a few ways to market. So when you got these to your disposable, you you gotta you gotta ask yourself like, what am I gonna do? Me, I like to do all of them. I don't like to just rely on one. I don't like to just rely on just organic marketing. So I'm gonna run ads, right? You might see me collaborate from time to time with an entrepreneur or influencer or another person who got a brand, or I might just say, okay, cool. You know what? I'm gonna pay them. Now, can I can I get can I be real with y'all? It's somebody right now. It's somebody right now on Instagram, right? That got like a hundred thousand followers that just want like a hundred bucks for a post. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that 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 that'll get you. I'm not gonna say an infinite return. You you know what I'm saying? But 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 they'll you'll get some good money out of them because now guess what? You can go and just utilize their platform. Let me know if that. Let me know if that makes sense. And I'll show y'all some cool, like I'll show y'all some cool ways because w w this is what I want y'all to understand. I want y'all to understand this. Can I can I be a hundred percent honest with y'all? Can I can I be a hundred percent honest with y'all? Just let me know if I could be honest today. <clears throat> let me know if I could be honest. Miss Marsha said, "Please do." Hell yeah, y'all <laughs> y'all 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 know y'all know. I always like to ask before I, before before I say something. <laughs> before I say something real truthful, right? That a lot of people are not gonna say. I just like to ask because some people look at me like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who's new here, but some people look at me like the, the, the truth hurt feelings sometimes. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm be a, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with y'all. I I I I give this shit away because I charge for the execution. I give the information away because I I just charge for the execution. Because guess what? In order to execute it, you gotta pay me. I sit here and I talk to y'all for seven hours all day. I tell y'all exactly what to do. But the execution, you gotta pay me for it. And guess what? You get paid well for executing. Do you know how? Like, listen. This this, this where this where it get reality. Where it get real for y'all. Do you know how many courses, how many programs y'all done bought that y'all done got on y'all laptop that y'all ain't logging in months that y'all did not complete <clears throat> that y'all said, oh yeah, I'm gonna be the next millionaire. Y'all went to the conference. Y'all went to y'all did all of this, and then y'all still here at a free goddamn training. Why? Because the execution is sold, y'all. And it's sold separately. So you can give you can get an information of free like people are so scared to give away information, like, oh no, I'm giving away information. Like, go ahead, give it away. And just charge for the execution. Because, yo, somebody, somebody would sit here the whole three days, and then they'll be like, yo, run away, I'm just gonna go do it myself. And then I'll be like, well, look, I got a game plan for you that can help you execute it, this, this, that, and the third. And then they'll still turn the other way. How crazy could you be? How 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 crazy could you be? Because guess what? I want you guys to think about what's the cost of not executing. I want you guys to be thinking about this all day and tomorrow, like as we go through this stuff. What's the cost of not executing? Because that, that costs just as much. As whatever that program cost you, whatever it, it, it took you to travel to the conference, whatever it was, the cost of not execution, oh my God, you gonna fill it in about two to three years. All right? Miss Shan, she 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 sipping whatever she got in the cup. I hope it ain't no wine early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But yo, it's the it's the cost, yo, it's the cost that of, of not executing. That cost is extreme. So let me show y'all something because we go we going into leads right now. Let me let me show y'all one thing. I'm on this Zoom with y'all, but we're gonna jump over here, right? We're gonna jump, we're gonna jump over here. And right now I'm on Restream, right? So Restream is a platform that allows me to go and take what I'm doing right now, right? And take it take this Zoom, what I'm doing right now, and then it put it to all of these platforms. So these are like all Facebook groups that I got and then and then the YouTube channel, right? So this is about this is 14 channels, right? So when we talk about when we talk about getting leads. And we talk about being in multiple places at one time. I'm just gonna start this. I'm gonna start this stream. Can everybody see my screen? I wanna make sure everybody can see my stream. Um, my screen. I'm gonna turn my camera on. Runway billionaire. I'm gonna just enter the studio, right? And then I'm gonna just go ahead up to the right hand corner, and then I'm gonna just press go live. Okay. <clears throat> and right now, like I'm live with y'all, but then I'm live on 14 other platforms right now. I'm streaming to like 14 other different Facebook groups and I'm streaming to my to my to my YouTube right now. So when people oh, say StreamYard. Exactly. StreamYard, Yellow Duck, OBS, whatever whatever you want to say, you connect your platform to it, boom, you go out, you can add designs, you can do a bunch of cool stuff with it. But all I like all I did was go and then, you know, we 20, 28 seconds in, it'll start alerting people, people will start coming and you'll start seeing these these uh, stuff pop up here, but these are all the places that I'm streaming right now. So look, you saw one person just come on, right? And, and two people just came on. So these numbers just start going up. So while I'm here doing the work that I'm already doing, that I'm doing with y'all, now I'm streaming this thing out in, in, in 14 other places right now. Because so many people is worried about leads, right? And now also they worry about the content. They worry about the content of the leads. But let me tell you something. A lot of times the content is is just catch catch yourself in the act of what you're doing. Just catch yourself in the act of what you're doing right now. And this number is starting to increase and increase over time, right? Like as more people start to see the alerts go off, and it tells me all of the all of the uh Facebook groups that I got going on and all of the YouTube, right? So check this out. So many people are like, dang, how can I how can I create content? I'm a real business owner. I'm doing this, this, that, and the third, right? I'm like, I have all these things going on. I don't have time to shoot content. Okay, just take take what you take what you're doing right now, and how do you take that and put that in the content? Can I show y'all some more? Let me know if I could. Let me know if I could show y'all some more. 
Cause a lot of people, a lot of people take this, y'all, and then they and then they overcomplicate it, and then what what happens is we never put the dang on thing out. We never we never do nothing about the process. So so I, so I'll show you right. So yesterday we had yesterday we had a session right. Yesterday yesterday we had a session. So this website is called Opus Clips. Okay, and I'll make sure like the team will put a a a, a Google Doc. With all of these links that I'm showing y'all so y'all can go and y'all can utilize this stuff so y'all ain't got to be overwhelmed. Like, what's that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I ain't going to stress y'all out like that. All right. So check this out. Yesterday, we had we had a session, right? And yesterday's session was right here. So I took my clip. I literally uploaded my clip. And then what it did is it broke this clip down into, I don't know how many clips. But y'all see all these clips? It broke these things down into into clips, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll scroll, and this was the output, right? If, if, look, if it ain't, it start with the content, and end with the content, because you got to think. You... So all I did yesterday was I took that video that I recorded, I uploaded the Opus clips, I let the AI pretty much take the best parts out. And then what it does is not only do it take the best parts out, it gives me the captions, it gives me the emojis, it gives me all of that stuff, it gives me a headline. This was 22. So out of yesterday, we got 24 clips. I got 24 pieces of content that I could go post on social media just from what I did sitting here from your um sitting here with you guys. And then also what happened, what what happened? It scored them. It gave them a vi a virality score. So basically, like, you know, ABC. 70 being the C, it let me know like this content will perform like this on your platform. So it already ranked the content for me in order to let me know what the score would be 99. And this one is talking about the power of marketing and communication is key. What, what point did I talk about? This was more so the opening when I was talking about how marketing is communicating. That's all that it is, right? I know that. <laughs> I know that because of what? Y'all was there? <laughs> Right, so now we're using a power of AI to do something that we was already doing, but then going to break it down into content that we could go repurpose. Right, so why why am I saying this and why and why is this important? Because if I go back here, guys, I have a lot of content, right? And a lot of times, y'all, we could overcomplicate the way that we think about content. And I got a lot of podcast interviews. I got a lot of YouTube YouTube stuff. I got a lot of mastermind stuff. Like if I go click on here, this was a video that was pretty much 58 minutes and it broke it down and it gave me all these pieces of content. So if y'all start seeing this blue <laughs> on y'all timeline, y'all know where it came from. But I also got, let me see, 26 pieces of content there. And this was from content that I already did. This was actually a speaking engagement that I did on somebody's YouTube channel that I literally just popped the link in. So look, let's let, let's go let's go do this because I got I got a lot to run through here, and um y'all y'all got y'all got to get this work today, okay? <laughs> we gotta put the work in because we gotta we gotta we gotta get to the we gotta get to the good stuff. All right. So I'm gonna go to YouTube and then I'm gonna type in uh, Runway Billionaire. Just gonna type in my name. Um, I'll go to, I'll do this, uh, this podcast right here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'll grab this link right here. Grab this link. I'll copy that link. I'll go right back here. I'll just drop it in here. I'll drop this link in here. It asks me what style I want to do. I got a template already called green IG. Okay. And then I can pick the preferred clip length. I can say I want 30 to 60 seconds. I can say, okay, cool. I know Instagram is, you know, with the reels, it's more so like that 15 to 30 second, or I could just auto and I could just let the AI pick whatever, whatever, whatever I want. And then also I could put in some keywords. So if it's something specific that I talked about, like let's just say that I did a podcast about marketing. I wanted to take out all of the marketing tips or sales funnels or strategies or whatever the case is, I can go do that or I can just let the AI do its thing and I get get clips. Now we'll come back to this. I'm gonna jump to something else because it take like a few minutes. So basically that was an hour and 15 minutes is basically saying the estimated time is 10 minutes. It's gonna process it, it's gonna analyze it. In 10 minutes, we'll come back to it. 
That's fair. That's fair, y'all. So y'all can see, so y'all can see the power, the power in real time. Y'all, I got a lot of stuff to go through. So if I if I'm going fast, I do apologize. I just want y'all to get to, I want y'all to get to everything. Cause when it comes to getting leads to our business, um, we man, we got we got to make it happen. All right, cool. So th so this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Um, I am going to, I'm going to hop over to Bar Twenty Four. Okay. And I'm I'm sorry, brand twenty four. And what brand twenty four is, this is is not it's not a free tool. Y'all could go in here, y'all could use it for free on a trial, but then you're gonna then you're gonna wanna upgrade. I literally just got this just to just to show y'all. I started a new account just to show y'all. <clears throat> um, but um it's not it's not it's not the it's not the most expensive, but it's definitely not the cheapest, right? I'm trying to give y'all strategies that and tools that y'all could use right now that's not that's not eating up y'all pocket, all right? But this tool that I found is like super, super effective, okay? And the reason why I say it's effective because we can go in, what I typed in was marketing for this example, and it gave me a present score, okay? Which means like how present is this word pretty much on, on social media, right? <clears throat> and when I say social media, I'm talking about TikTok, I'm talking about Twitter, I'm talking about Instagram, I'm talking about all that, right? Um, but basically, it gives us this graph and lets us know like, how long? So if I click on the day and the time, like I click on last 30 days, it'll let us know how many mentions and how many reach this particular category got. And I could even connect my Facebook, my Instagram account. That way it could give me, uh, you know, more data. Um, and then also like an influencer score, like every, every account has a score, like whether y'all know it or not. Right. And I can, <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to expose nobody y'all, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it is what it is at this point. Like it ain't, you can't hide nothing on the internet y'all. So, uh, so I'll just go, I'll just go and be the one to say it, but just don't hate me. Don't, don't hate me for saying it. Don't hate me for keeping it real. So, all right. So, uh, the thing I like about this is you can segment this, you can segment this into it's a negative, neutral, and positive. Like, what was the negative? What did negative people say about it? Me, I like to look at the negative things because that can be something that uh, either the cha either the channel or the influencer didn't, like they just ignored it and didn't answer the question, right? They put out valuable content, but it didn't solve a problem. So now we, we, know, we know negative stuff get, you know what I'm saying, get positive viewership, <laughs> right? Like we ain't gonna act like we don't, we never seen no negative stuff. Like what the heck is going on? So I like to look at negative negative stuff to see how I can how I can improve. Also neutral and also positive comments to see how people respond to certain things. That's also good. <clears throat> it's a lot of uh, uh, geo geolocation, a lot of stuff. But one of the things that I like is when we click on this influencer tab, right? <clears throat> is it it pretty much let us know like the top sites when it comes to marketing and the, and the type of content. Most of the time, you're going to see a lot of YouTube icons, right? But for right here, we got TikTok, right? Like it's one person that's going like crazy on TikTok. So that drives me into my next segment because again, before I even talk about getting leads, I got to talk about what are people asking and what and, and what what's being searched online, right? So it's like. Who here and, and and just type guilty in the chat, right? Just type guilty in the chat. Who here does like just feel like, all right, I know what to do when it comes to social media, but I still like sometimes I just don't be knowing what to post about, or I run out of ideas, or I don't know what to say, or I don't know what <laughs> I ain't gonna blame y'all, but just type guilty in the chat. Like, absolutely. All right, all right, guilty, guilty. All right, look, guys, even me sometimes, right? Like, even me. Like as a creator, sometimes I'll be like, I said that already. Do I need to say it again? <laughs> do I need to reper do I need to repost it? Do I gotta be redundant? Do I gotta say do I gotta say the same shit every time, right? And and to be honest, y'all, like <clears throat> I just think that the way that we need to look at content is how can we say this how can we say the same thing multiple different ways so we don't get bored as a as a creator and we don't feel like we're repeating ourselves. So I'm gonna take y'all to another site. All right, we're gonna go to another site. And I got a lot, I got a lot, I got a lot to give y'all. I still don't know how I'm gonna do all this, so just bear with me. All right. All right. 
Okay, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Excuse me. All right. So it's a site called Answer the Public. I'm just going to log in real fast. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. We could type in any, we could type in any product. I mean, any topic that we want. I'll, I, I want to make this interactive. So I want you guys to just give me something in the chat because I don't want to be the one to just go through it and music. All right. So when we, if we do music, like let's be specific about music because music is broad. It could be country. It could be rap. It could be rock. It could be pop. Loving relationships. Like, let's get a little more specific. Like, what do what do we want to know? Okay? Like, like what do we want to know about rap music? Right? Because we could type we could type rap music in. Right? We could type rap music in. And these are these are some of the things that are coming up about rap music. Now, watch when y'all see this. Because this is because this is super, super fire. This is super, super fire. Right. All right, we got 669 results. Okay, let me just hit accept so this can get out the way, and then let me zoom out. All right, there we go. Better. All right, cool. So check this out. I want y'all to pay attention to these dark orange. Okay, dark orange circles. That means those are the things that people are highly, highly asking for, and the lighter ones are the thing that's people they asking about it, but they not really asking about it. So the thing that people are asking right now, probably because the way that the music sound and the music industry is when it comes to rap music, will rap music ever go away, right? Right? Why rap music is bad. How rap music affects the brain. Can rap music help you focus? Uh, I can't see this one. Let me see. Uh, are rap music sales down? Dang, they, they, they worry about that a lot. Uh, what rap music dropped today? Okay, so they worried about current stuff. Okay, so like this gives us an example of topics that we can, you know, essentially be putting out content on because this is the stuff that people are asking. Let's do another one. Can y'all drop it in the chat? Let's do another one, um, just for just for example. And I hope this is a great example for y'all. <clears throat> but now we can take this and we can make content around we can make oh i love it let's do ai since we talking about ai let's just do ai <laughs> i love it all right so it's actually it's actually to log in i'm just going i'll just go continue i should have an account cool cool all right all right so we're gonna do ai real quick and let's see what they asking about ai and guys like this will give you the more specific that you get the better results that you get. Of course, it's good to go broad and then see what, thing, what, what, what things people are asking. But are AI directors accurate? Can AI take over the world? Did y'all see that bot, that uh, the Tesla bot that attacked the man was about to stab him? Y'all saw that? Yeah, so that'd be good content. That'd be that'd be uh, going crazy right now. Um, and then why AI is bad. Um, uh, who AI uh, in healthcare? Oh man, they getting crazy. Um, and then uh, which AI can generate images? So a lot of things are being asked about AI. And um, again, guys, you can go and you can do this stuff. You guys can go do do this stuff yourself and go like really just go do this like today, right? I want you guys to be able to take take action today. Now, now that we did that, it's important to know what people are asking in the marketplace. Cause that just helps us with staying relevant on current events and staying relevant on content. It's nothing worse than you talking about you you know you talking about something that's from 2018 unless it's a, unless it's something current. People follow the news, okay? Right? Like people follow the news. Like whether it's right or wrong, people want to know about what's current and what's right now. People don't care about yesterday that much, right? They care about today and the tomorrows. So how can our how can our content speak today for to, for the present time and then speak for tomorrow like what would happen what's the curiosity what's the what, what's the result right so a lot of the times like guys y'all can go to google.com and just go to the news tab and just see what's going on in, in in the news right now and just see what's ranking right and how do I make that applicable like a lot of the content that I've been seeing right now with people in financial industries, they do taxes, they do LLCs, is that Corporate Transparency Act. 
oh yeah, you're going to get charged that money if you got an LLC and you ain't telling who, you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't no more just having an LLC just sitting there. So I've been seeing a lot of content, you know what I'm saying, around that. Why? Because it's current and then it, and then it speaks to the future. Let me know if that makes sense, y'all. Let me know if y'all got that. All right, cool. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, so we're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go. Let me see. I got to go back to where I was at. I got to find it. Give me one second. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> so we went to, we went to this creator, right? And I'm going to give, I'm going to give you guys like a, a, a bunch of, a bunch of different ways. And I'm trying to like mad, I'm trying to like get a whole lot in in, in in a short amount of time, right? So one of the one of the things that people don't realize that's really like an underutilized tool, especially when it comes to marketing. Now, uh one of my coaches told me, they told me, they said, runway, like, bro, you the man at Instagram, right? But you were crushing on TikTok. No, I'm like. And, and y'all, I'll be honest, I'm still, I'm still attempting to get it together. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, like, it's really just a mindset thing. Like, man, I just got to get over there. He said, bro, just make it for TikTok and post it on Instagram. Right? He said, just make it for TikTok and then just post it on Instagram. Right? So the same way, the same way that I gave y'all, the same way that I gave y'all that at the beginning where I just, I just streamed all that stuff. He like, yo, when you make the content, just make it for TikTok. Because what works on Instagram don't work on TikTok, but what work on TikTok or work on Instagram, just film it for TikTok and just post it on Instagram. I was like, all right, all right. I was like, all right, <laughs> right? Like, look, he's like, I'm trying to get jiggy with TikTok. Me too. I'm trying to, I feel like I got to be another person over there. I feel like I got to be an alter ego or something on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm working on it, y'all. I'm working on it, right? But he tell me like, yo, they love you over TikTok. But check this out. Anyway. Nobody, check this out. Nobody wants to do the work, y'all, of, of, of doing the research. Nobody, like, nobody wants to do the work of doing the research, okay? Like, yo, there's no shortcuts. You get cut short, plain and simple. You got these tools to cut down, to cut down the load of work that you have to do, but the research has to be done. So when we got stuff like creator, uh, 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 TikTok Creative Center, like it's letting us know what trends is. So let's just go to like creators. We got we got the creators. We got Jason. We got Chris. We got all these creators. All right. Let's go to hashtags. Okay. Now we can search by hashtags. We can literally search by the industry. And right now we can see that 2024 is the top hashtag that's being used on TikTok right now. So when I post my videos, what hashtag I'm using? 2024. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't second guessing it, right? So again, runway need to start getting on runway need to start getting on TikTok, right? And then New Year. Why? What season are we in? We in a few days away from the new year. So it's only right that these hashtags is gonna be trending right now. So guess what? I'm also gonna type in my own uh uh category, right? To see what hashtags is going in there. Let's just go to business services <clears throat> and see. What, what 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 that's going on and guys like really do this research right and then we also could go to songs what songs are trending on tiktok okay again like we see we see we see what trends are going what are going over the next are going over the next couple days what trends are popping up what creators and then also we have what videos what tiktok videos are trending on here so i want to show y'all guys something I want to show y'all guys something super fire, and this is why like I really got I gotta get on TikTok because I just been I've been doing a lot of research, and we got a little accountability group guys amongst the amongst amongst our staff that we gotta kick we gotta kick off. We've been saying we going we've been saying we going we going to do it, and um, Coach Bree who was in the chat, uh, she I, I don't know if she gonna do it, y'all. Can, can we can we all? Can we all hold hold Coach Bree with some accountability? Look, she got a hand on the head. She like, I don't know, man. So check this out. Check this out. Tell 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 Coach Bree she got it. Like she could do this, right? So so Coach Bree like like we like yeah we got post three times a day. Coach Bree like I can't even post once a day. Like what's going on? So we gotta get we gotta get Coach Bree a batch content session and get her in. She got this. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So check this out. Now we can see some of the videos that's trending. 
I just got an email alert that said my Opus Clips is ready. So we'll go back, we'll view some of those clips, but I want to show y'all this first, right? So check this out. We can see some of the stuff that's like, do it. And it's not the copy, y'all. This is just to see like, what, like, like what's going on? Like, can we take this? Can we take some of these concepts and infuse them in our business? So I just went to a TikTok and I went to, uh, I went to a creator real quick. I went to his profile. Now check this out. I'm about to give y'all some game real quick. <clears throat> we gonna go to Google Chrome and we gonna download this. Uh, we gonna download this this Chrome extension called Short TikTok. Short TikTok. I'm sorry. Now check this out. When we go to anybody page that's in our industry, y'all just get y'all just. I'm gonna just type real estate. Okay. I'm gonna type real estate. It's going all all these people is gonna come up. Right in real estate, I'm just gonna click on this gentleman uh, right here. I'm gonna click on his profile. I have no idea who Jordan is, right? Well, this Jordan, I, I got Coach Jordan in the, in the chat, but I don't know who this Jordan is. So check this out. What what this is going to like really debunk a lot of the stuff for me? Because what it's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to see. All right, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on uh uh. Uh, sort TikTok, <clears throat> right? And then what I can do is I can just click on likes and then it's going to automatically sort his whole TikTok to what post got the most likes. And now I can go by likes or I can go by views and what TikTok got the most views. So check this out. What am I doing? I'm now not having to scroll through all of their content to see what, <laughs> to see what was the most engaged. Because for me, that makes the research process a lot longer when you got to go through each video and you got to see which one had the most engagement. You got to see which one had the most views, the most comments and all of that. And then guess what? If I go to comments and I see which one had the most comments, most likely it's going to be the one with the most views and all of that. But guess what? Now I can go see what people are asking in the comments, y'all. Now those things are what? Opportunities for me to create more content or for me to answer more questions and things like that. Let me know if that was helpful. Let me know if that was let me know if that was super super helpful. Because one thing about me y'all, it's a task being able to go and do the research and then you got to filter through all this stuff. Somebody say give me one more runway cuz I know cuz cuz, cuz y'all like me. I'm doing I'm doing this because I'm like, yo, I need to get good at this TikTok, but I need to see what's going on. So this is my own accountability that I'm giving y'all. So somebody say give me one more runway. Come on, I want I want to give y'all I want to give y'all one more. I told y'all we got we got a we got a we got a lot. We got a lot to cover. I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to do this. All right? So check this out. <clears throat> so check this out. We're going to go to Viral Finder. Okay? This is a, this is a super this is a super game changer. Um, this 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 does. I forget how much it costs. Don't quote me on that, y'all. But again, I'll have the team like <clears throat> put a. Uh, I had the team uh, put a uh, Google Doc together. Now check this out, y'all. <clears throat> this this is so crazy, right? And and I'll use like so so we ain't gotta wait because it takes about it takes about two to three minutes for it to populate, right? So we'll just use like Alex Hermosi, right? I'll use I use Alex Hermosi. So basically, what this does is I'm just gonna go to I'm gonna go to user search. We will put Alex Hermosi in, inside of this user search, and then and then what will come up? The results will come up, okay? And when we search the results, he should be right here. But let me see. Let's see. All right, we're gonna wait for it to go 25. 5%. It's going to load back up. So we're going to wait for this to load up. I'm going to go back over to Opus Clips because it said it was ready. And then boom, I got, let me see how many clips I got. Now that was from that YouTube video that I took over there. And I got 31 clips from that podcast. I got 31 pieces of content from that podcast, y'all. Okay. So literally, literally what I did was this is content that I don't got to reshoot. And I could go in here. I could edit this content. I'll I'll just listen at this clip right here, and this say uh, breaking the stereotype from drugs to entrepreneurship. My journey, okay? And we'll listen to this real fast. I've been an entrepreneur. You know, what I'm saying pretty much my whole life. I jumped right out of high school, right into mm. entrepreneurship. So, how long I've been in the space? Sixteen plus years. How long I've been digitally? 
I would say that it probably came in about 2015 mm-hmm. is when I started to understand that the digital game was where, where, where it was at. Now, I hate to stereotype. Yeah. But did you start off drugs, selling drugs? No, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, it's, it, you know, it's crazy that you say that because mm-hmm. I actually went opposite. Nope. Right? So literally it took a piece of the pot, it took a piece of the podcast, chopped it down into a moment that they feel like this was scored 99% on my page. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to listen to the AI because I feel like the AI might be a little smarter than me. And guess what? I ain't have to go in there and chop that down. Okay? So check this out. All I got to do is hit this download button and, and go post it on Instagram. Or, or, right? I could go share and then I could connect my TikTok. I could go connect my Instagram. I could connect my LinkedIn and I can just go schedule it right from there. Okay, that makes sense, y'all. Okay, so yes, you can upload a, a, a Loom video, you can upload a YouTube, you can upload a Zoom video. I did that. I did that um, yesterday. That was the, the other one that I showed y'all. So you can utilize you can utilize these tools, and all of this gonna make sense. All this gonna make sense in a few minutes, y'all. <laughs> all this gonna make all this gonna make sense in a few minutes, right? It doesn't do the captions too, does it? Sorry. Um no it it don't it don't do the it don't do the captions but so check this out all right <clears throat> we just gonna copy this okay we're gonna open up chat GPT man I don't know y'all I'm gonna be honest I don't know how I'm going I don't know how I'm gonna get through all this y'all uh yeah you could you could use much you could you could use much you could use you know what I'm saying whatever you like um, you can use, you can use whatever you like. <clears throat> um, guys, it's just all about using the tools that work for you. Everybody, everybody got they, everybody got their process. Okay. Everybody got their own, they own process of doing stuff. Whatever that, whatever the, whatever the process is, right. Whatever that process is, I guarantee you it's going to be a lot less stressful than you doing this yourself. <laughs> So I just tell it to write me a IG caption from this video script. And then I paste it and then boom. There you go. And you just let that you just let that and there you go. You know what I'm saying? And you can you could you 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 could sauce it up, you can make it good. Guys, listen, I got a I got a AI video of me. All right. So I got like an avatar of me. So I don't know if you guys know. I, I, I might got to save this. I might. I don't, I don't know if I got time for this. But <clears throat> they got something called Hajin. Right. And Hajin is where for all of my people. That's like, oh, man, I don't got time to shoot content. Damn it, y'all. I don't know if I got time to... Like, because this, this I, I really got to show y'all. Like, I really got to show y'all. But, like, you can have an AI yourself where this is me. Ever caught yourself thinking, why not me? While looking at those success stories. Yeah, we know that. People. That's not me talking, y'all. <laughs> that's AI and that's not me moving. <laughs> right? So now, I can make a whole course. I can make content. You just gotta upload a video of yourself. You get what I'm saying? You gotta upload it. You gotta upload it. Hold up. Okay. He said, "Hold on, hold on. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to y'all right now. All right. So check this out. Here go to, here go to play. Here go to play. Check this out. Let me, uh, let me share my computer. So I said, now listen. It, it's learning my voice, so it gotta get better, right? But like right off the rip, you can't, you can't even tell. So let me, let, let me do this. Let me share my computer sound. So check this out. All right. He said, yeah, they say run that shit back, right? So here we go right here. Now let's flip the script. Are you tired of just scrolling and wishing? Ever caught yourself thinking, why not me? While looking at those success stories. Yeah, we know that feeling. Now let's flip the script. Right? So it, so, so the more you dump into it, the, 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 the more to get better. Okay? So... Again, like this came from like a 30 second recording. So let me let, let, let me show you this call this called hygiene, right? <clears throat> so 
gonna just go to my home real quick. So when you make an instant avatar, it tells you everything that you need. It walk you step. It walk you step by step. You can have it to where as though you're very close to the camera, or you can have it to where as though like you see, I just mimic what he did. I wanted my stuff to be like a little bit back, so that way when we actually when it actually goes into a uh, reels mode, it zooms in, and now it only got this. But I wanted to be able to see my hands move. Cause that's the real thing that makes it, that gives it life. It's like from, from instant, it's like, hold up, wait, I, you don't know because you see the hands moving. If my hands wasn't moving and I was just talking, it would give real AI vibe. You like, nah, you would instantly know. But just the fact that it got hand movement, now it's like this. So now in the video editing process, it could have me and then it can have cutaways, all of that cool stuff. Once that voice get right, like once I train that voice to get right, oh, it's game, it's game time, y'all. But check this out. Let me let let, let me show y'all something. <clears throat> so that's called hygiene. So literally, what I can do is I can, as y'all can see, ChatGPT has plugins. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if y'all. I'm not sure if y'all noticed that. But ChatGPT has plugins, so I can ask ChatGPT what's trending right now, and I can do my research right here. I can also give ChatGPT a, a, a link and I can tell it to read something from that article and I can tell it give me feedback. I also could connect a YouTube a YouTube um, um, synopsis, right? So it would give me a synopsis of a YouTube channel so I could give it a link and I can tell it give me a synopsis of what that YouTube video was about and then I can go make a script and then guess what? I can go I can I can plug this hygiene in and then I can say, "Hey, transfer this 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 script over to my hygiene and my hygiene already connected it'll go right to my hygiene account and then boom it'll go ahead and make the script for the video let me know if y'all picking up what i'm putting down i know it, 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 it i got like listen if i had time to really like really really go through this and break it down like i, I like i'll tell y'all right and again it's ways that you can make the voice better is ways that you can make the is ways that you can make the avatar better. The more you give it, the better it gets. Most people give it like two to five minutes, right? I'm I'm uploading like hours and hours and hours of stuff. Okay, I'm uploading hours and hours and hours of stuff. So it, so so it could get that same intensity when I talk. It could get that vocal change. It could get all of that stuff. So now when it comes down to it. Now I can just go literally just write my script in ChatGPT and just send it right over. Okay? All right. So, let me see. All right, let's go back to Viral Finder. All right, cool. So look, check this out. <clears throat> we back to doing the research, right? Back to doing the research. So when we go back to doing the research, <laughs> he's out over here excited, right? So when we go back to doing the research, this is one thing that I love because again, when we go, when we go on to do, um, you know, the search and, and, and everything, right? We got to go through content after content after content after content, okay? When we go through content after content, we got to literally go through piece by piece. With this, this gives, gives us the most viral and engaged content from their page, and it gives it to us in order, okay? So now, what do, so, so now what do we do? We can now go and we can say, we can say, yo, you know what? These are examples of contents that pretty much went viral on their page. Let's just say we go do this for 10 accounts. Let's just say each account got 10 pieces of content that we can go. I'm not going to say copy. I'm not going to say steal, but we can go model, right? Let's say you do credit repair. You follow 10 big credit repair accounts and you go to their page and you see Boom, boom, each piece of content that, okay, cool. Now we just got to go remake it. Come on. So, somebody tell me, keep going, y'all. Somebody tell me, keep going. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't know if y'all really thinking about like, like what's going on. Like this, this stalking your competition on steroids because now we don't got to go do it manually, but I want to tell y'all how to keep going. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop the video inside of a transcribing software, right? I'm going to drop the video inside of a transcribing software. I'm going to take the transcript from the video. I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it in chat. G I'm going to drop it in chat GBT and I'm going to tell it to rewrite it. 
But here's the thing. It's how you tell it to rewrite it. Because if they already got, like, check, check it out. Like, I gave y'all the 65 viral hooks, right? <laughs> he said he's going to do a wardrobe move with a competition. But better, though. And, and more ethical. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like more ethical, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my, my sauce is just a little more ragu. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my, shit, my shit homemade. You get what I'm saying? But it's just going to be a little more saucier when I do mine. So check this out. Now you can do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all some game and I'm gonna like I'm gonna try to jump into this because like I still got some more stuff to show y'all, but I'm not I I I know I'm not gonna get to it, but I'm I'm gonna be patient. So check this out. I, I'm going in the chat GPT, and what I'm doing is I'm rewriting the script, but here's the mistake that most people make when it comes to utilizing chat GPT. Y'all don't talk to it. So now it just give y'all a generic output. I talk to ChatGPT like it's one of my friends, like it's one of my homies or something. I tell it when I don't like something. I tell it what I want it to change. So what I'm saying is it's only as good as the engineer. So some people just take that bland ass output, okay? Let me, let, let, let me, let, let me go over here and show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. We gonna go to the Facebook ads library. Okay. And like literally, what we can do is, we could click United States. We click all ads, and literally, what what we'll search. Let's just let, let <laughs> y'all see when, when when bro said, "Oh yeah, it wasn't working." I just went and searched and saw what the hell you was doing. Stop lying. All right, so let, let's just type credit, right? Let's just type credit. Team, can y'all drop that uh, playbook, that playbook in the chat, the marketing playbook? So check this out. This is what I want y'all to understand, y'all. When we look at ads, so many people, the, the first thing that they do is, like, 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 let's just look at this ads library real quick. We, we typed in credit. But let's just look at this ad, ads library real quick. We scroll three, four scrolls before we saw somebody with a video. The ads library for credit bland as hell. So when people be like, yo, da -da -da, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to do credit. I, I, I want to get leads. Don't come out looking like this. I, I don't know about y'all, but... If, if if I'm if I'm running a credit if I'm running a credit business or I'm running something that do funding and the ad look like this I'm I'm running <laughs> buddy don't look like he could get me no money I'm sorry you get what I'm saying and it's just it's just a, it's a whole lot of this in the marketplace where lackluster where people are like like let's be honest it's just not real good content so what happened when I take that viral content that worked on Instagram from one of the creators, I'll put it out as content because here, here, here's the thing. If it worked organically, it'll work on ads. If it worked organically, it'll work on ads. So guess what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go test it. I'm going to go recreate it in my own light and then in my own light, emphasis on my own. And then I'm, and then I'm going to run ads behind it. Listen, when it comes down to running ads, right, or organic marketing, it's not or, it's both. You, you have to do both. Do not rely solely on just running ads to, or, to, to organic marketing. Oh, I don't got a big budget. Yo, if you don't got a big budget and you don't got the, you don't got the capacity to, 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 to pump out three, four pieces of content, be active and stream on multiple platforms like you see me doing, putting up 10 stories a day, all, all of those. Like, if you don't have the capacity to do that, then what you have, then what you what you have to do is you have to first realize, you you have to you have to first realize, okay, I got I gotta get attention. I gotta get views. So so let me show you. So we take that content and we turn it into a ad creative. I wish I really had time to show y'all, but let me show y'all this. I'm going to hop in the software. <clears throat> and guess what? They both work hand in hand. Because let me tell you something. 
I wish I could show you the screenshot, y'all, <clears throat> of when I ran ads. I spent about 40000 and made like 260000 Okay? <clears throat> and I had to pay an agency about twenty I had to pay an agency about twenty thousand dollars on top of the uh the, the, the monthly retainer that I had to pay them because they charged me per per month and then they charged me ten percent of what we made off of ads. Would y'all say that's a good deal or bad deal? I spent forty thousand. I had to spend another twenty thousand and just paying them in commissions. So I had to spend sixty thousand total, but I made four hundred I made two hundred and forty forty thousand. Y'all feel like that's a good deal or a bad deal? That's a great fucking deal. <laughs> I spent sixty thousand and I made two hundred and forty thousand. Right? So most people would be like, "Yo, most people would be like, yo, I gotta give up twenty thousand. If I would have never spent the money, I would have never made the money." You can't get that type of return in stock market, real estate, ain't shit giving you that type of return. So guess what? I'm like, spend the money. Okay? So check this out. So, because <clears throat> a lot of you guys are going to want to, a lot of you guys are want to go to or want to or want to go to run ads and y'all want to go do the agency thing. And then that fee can be a hefty fee every month. Right? Like some 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 agencies charge two, three thousand, some even five thousand. And guys, I'm going to tell you, like, if you have the ability to learn how to run ads yourself, do it. But I want to show you guys, because listen, you'll, you'll never have to worry about money. You'll never have to worry about money. And before I hop in and do this, because we're going to go from here and then we're going to go into the VIP session. But before I hop in and I do this, I want to say this. If you learn how to run your own ads, you'll never have to worry about money. Can, one, can Runway run your ads? Of course. <laughs> of course. I give you the information, sell you the execution. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? So check this out. But but I like to show people how to fish, okay? Because if you learn this, you'll never. I'm telling you, you'll never have to learn about. You'll never have to worry about making money. But here's the thing: everything that I showed y'all so far over the net over the past two days, right? Everything that I showed you so far over the past two days, I don't want you to think, how can I just do this for my business? I want you to think, how can I do this for my business and how can I do this for somebody else? Because the same thing that you're going to need for your business is the same thing that you're going to need for what? Somebody else going to need it for their business. So the software that y'all signing up for, the software that y'all signing up for, guess what? Somebody else going to need that. Referral, the ads, the thing that I'm about to show y'all, somebody else going to need it. Referral. Everything that I showed y'all can be done for y'all and can be done for somebody else. Referral, because how many of y'all know businesses that's not here right now that if you showed them a 10% of what I showed y'all would be like, shit, sign me up. <laughs> shit, yeah, I get, what? I give you, you an extra thousand a month. So don't just take this as, oh, dang, I can't make no money. Because when we talk about sales, I'll give y'all the exact script of how y'all can tell somebody like, look, <laughs> let me hop on. Let me just show you. Let me just show you these one, two things. Give me a thousand dollars a month. Referral. And then guess what? what? What did we talk about yesterday? Offer referral. I'm going to offer my service to you and then ask you, do you know somebody else that needs this? <laughs> like, come on, y'all. <laughs> come on, y'all. And when you come to the software, I'm going to show y'all what AI ads do. AI ads is going to allow you to connect your platforms and it's going to allow you to run ads on multiple platforms at one time without all of the confusion of the Facebook ads manager. Who, 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 who here has ever ran ads in Facebook ad manager? Right? My God, Jamel said, yeah. Right? Who here? Me. So y'all know, it seemed like every time, first of all, every time you log into Facebook, they moving some shit around, the regular Facebook. So y'all know how complex the Facebook ads manager is and Jamel using Hyrule. So you know how, you know how, com how, how complex can get y'all. It's definitely not third grade level. It's definitely, it definitely advanced. It takes some patience. You know what I'm saying? It takes some clicking around and exploring. 
it's not the most complicated, but it's definitely not. It's not. They they change it a lot, right? Um, <clears throat> so with this platform, it makes it a lot easier for you to be able to take that confusion out once you got your ad account set up. Like once you got your once you got your business business manager account set up. Once you got your you know once you got your pixel set up. Now you just connect your account. Now let me just show you because <clears throat> it allow you to advertise on all these different platforms. So some of you guys might be running a business that's not so much heavily ran on TikTok. You might be better just running it on YouTube. Like I literally can take this recording of what I'm doing right now and I can run it as a YouTube ad. How valuable would this be if I'm running if I'm running uh running ads to something where I'm doing a free training that's running as an ad on YouTube and then people could go sign up and watch and watch the training. Oh, so now we talking about how to get now we talk about how to get leads, right? Now we talking. Because now I don't have to redo this. Okay? And now when they go watch and they see, okay, dang, I just stamped myself as an in the industry expert because what? What did I say? I give this stuff away for free, but I charge for the execution. Okay? Then I can choose whether I want to run <clears throat> Facebook, Instagram. So check this out. I go right in here. Very simple. My goal is to run traffic. You could go in here. You could edit edit what the goal is. Like I said, it's very it's very simple to go in here and edit these things. Traffic. Do you want leads? Do you want conversion? Guys, <clears throat> me personally, if if you're not getting a lot of views and you don't have a big following, run traffic. Run traffic. Get eyeballs to your stuff. Okay. Get people to see your stuff. If you're not a, oh, I post on Instagram all day type person, I got to make some comp. Run traffic. Get it to the point where you can start running leads and then you can start running conversions. And y'all see, when I start running conversions, it's asking me for a Facebook pixel. I can pop my pixel in there. It's asking me for the goal. I can do that. That's a little more advanced. You get what I'm saying? But run traffic. Just get people to see your stuff. And when they see it, it just better be good. That's all that I ask. Because if it's trash, you're going to be spending money and ain't nobody going to stay there. All right? So we got that out the way. We run the traffic. Then you can enter your website. You can run traffic straight to your Instagram account. If you don't have a website, we're not going to use no excuse. I'll give you one better. Let's do this. Let's go back to advertisement and let's just run Messenger ads. We can run ads straight to our DM. Oh, runway, uh, runway. Why, why are you saying that? Well, because like if I could just have conversations with people, and they never have to leave the platform, then guess what? My cost per lead is going to be lower. Because now they stand on the platform. They not even leave. They not even leaving. So guess what? We could come down here and we could use something that's called AI targeting. OK, we could use something that's called AI targeting and then we could connect our mini chat. So our mini chat could respond to the ads. But that's that's you know, what I mean, that's that, that's that's what I don't got time to show y'all. But check this out. We could do AI targeting or we could do advanced targeting so we could do lookalike audience. Ooh, wrong way. What do, what, what do lookalike audience? What do that look like? Or lookalike audiences. I could go create a lookalike audience or I could go do retargeting. So check this out. I can literally go, I could take everybody who registered for this training and guess what? I could go make sure that y'all see my ads for the next 365 days more. <laughs> I could follow y'all around the internet. You're like, why don't runway stalking me? And guess what? I could, I could literally target y'all, right? But also I could put in some targets on here where I can put I can go in here and I can put investment banking. I can put entrepreneurs. I can put who I'm targeting. For this example, I'm using business funding. So check this out. I'm going to let the AI do the targeting. I haven't put in no budget a month, but it's forecasting what it's going to spend every day and how many, how many clicks I'm getting, how much reach I'm getting. I haven't did anything yet, but it's telling me how it's forecasting about how much reach I'm going to get the same thing that it would do in a Facebook ad manager. So guess what? If you're not getting 20 to 90 clicks, if you're not getting 2 to 13 clicks a day, would it be worth $5 to you? 
Let's say you got five clicks. They charge you a dollar a click. You wasn't getting nothing. <laughs> you ain't even posting on social media. You ain't do nothing. You pay five dollars. You hire Facebook or Instagram, say five dollars, and you got five DMs. Guys, listen to what I'm telling y'all. It don't get no better than that. Okay, then they get down to the creative. I can pick where I want them to message me at. I can say only message me on Instagram. So check this out. I can edit the conversation. Again, we could get we could get deeper, y'all. Each thing that we choose, whether it's LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever, it gives us different. We could go to the creative, right? I can have a video or I can have an image. Now, these are some generic images that they gave me based on the AI, okay? But I could go in here and this is the image that it's going to give me. Basically, he's just saying get up to 100K in funding. But this is the image. It's an image of a business owner wrapping up the gifts in a business, right? But I can go in here and I can make my own. I wish I really had time to do do. Listen, I might have to double back tomorrow and get and get y'all some more sauce. But I just want to get through this so y'all so y'all could do. Can somebody tell me what this say right here? AI copywriter. We gonna let the AI. We gonna let the AI do it. We gonna let the we gonna let the AI do the thing. We gonna let the AI. So it's gonna give us <clears throat> primary text. Then it's gonna give us headlines. I could tell it to rewrite it. I could go in here. I could give it what is my business product event idea. I could give it the name, right? I could give it a few words to describe what I'm doing, and then boom, generate, generate the content. You get what I'm saying? Generate and, and, and y'all, this is for everybody who who going through the creative process and like this shit is overwhelming for you. It's now compact to where though you can like, yo, I could just do it. I could just do this right here. Okay. And then at the bottom, I could just go adjust my budget. I got it at $10 a day. I could just go a bunch, uh, uh, adjust my budget and then I hit create and then I say, boom. Now check this out. <clears throat> I don't got no ads ran right now, but let's just say that I was running on Google Facebook, TikTok, all of my all of my stats will show right here inside of my Go Hollow. So now it's no more of me logging in and out all these different platforms for me to be able to go see what the hell is working and what's not working. All of it right here, all of the tracking right here, like everything right here. I can see how much I click, how much I spend was my CPC, my CPM, my, my CTR. Like my click through rate, I can see everything right in front of me from multiple different platforms. And guess what? Boom, I, I hop right back in. And the only thing I got to do is I take that same thing. I go to YouTube. My YouTube is connected. And y'all see YouTube is not even, look, YouTube ain't even that long. So yes, I got to go in and I got to do, I, I got to set it up differently because every, every platform has a different format. But listen to what I'm telling y'all. I'm going to get 16 to 100 clicks for spending 5 to $10 a day. I could run as many creatives as I want to. I don't have no limit. And then I can go in there. I wish I had something running right. I wish I had something running right now so I could show y'all at the bottom. At the bottom, it'll tell me what ads I'm running and it'll tell me how they're performing right now. And I could go pause it. I could stop it. Yeah, does it allocate the budget between each platform? You control the budget. You control what you want to spend. You control it 100%. You control it. Okay? <clears throat> so 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 this is this is the power. This is the power. You got to manually add manually add each budget. So what I'll do is I'll give me an overall budget. Right? And I don't want to get y'all whole whole Facebook class. Cause I got I got jump into this. I got jump into this VIP, y'all. I, I gotta be fair, y'all. I gotta be. I got I got operate in integrity, so I gotta get to this VIP. So check this out. Like <clears throat> you just set a budget, pretty much for campaigns, and then basically you you spread that budget I always like to do three ad sets, okay? So I'll just put, I'll just put, you know, 33, 33, 33. I'll just spread it out evenly. So that way, whichever one is not working, we cut one off. If we only spent $15 of that budget, we just allocate the $7.50 and $7.50 to the other one. That's it. You know what I mean? But I always like to do at least three different ad sets, right? And we might have 
three different ads in those, each ad set. So we might have a total of, you know what I'm saying, nine ads running. So we got campaign level. We have three different ad sets. Inside of those ad sets, I might be targeting entrepreneurs. In another ad set, I might be tar targeting business owners. In other ad sets, I might be, I, I might be targeting, you know, uh, 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 people from 30 to 45 years old. And then I got the same three pieces of content in each ad set with the same budget. All right. So that's a whole, <laughs> that's a whole little one too. I got to show y'all visually like what that, what that would look like. Um, if you already have go high level, um, all you have to do is just, uh, just message the team and then I can get y'all this, I can get y'all this, uh, I can get y'all, uh, this software and y'all can plug it right into y'all go high level. All right. So y'all just got to message the team. I can get y'all the link and I can, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can just pay for it separately and y'all can, y'all, y'all can get it, uh, transferred to your go high level. You know what I mean? Uh, absolutely. Uh, all you gotta do is message the team, billionaire marketing. Um, guys, I do, I do got to go over to the VIP session. Um, so whatever I did not cover today, I'll put it on tomorrow. So that way you guys can get value. I don't want to hold any value from y'all. I'm not, I'm not a gatekeeper. I ain't, I'm a, I'm a giver. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the VIP is basically what y'all got here. Uh, we going to go over, um, to the VIP session and this is where you guys can ask questions. We can build and, um, you can get your specific answers. I just wanted to bring the smoke today. You get what I'm saying? The fire is going to be tomorrow, but I wanted to bring some smoke today. <laughs> All right. So I got to jump over to that VIP session. Be be clear for them. The team will drop the link in case any last minute people want to jump over um, to VIP. Um, I'll leave this. Uh, I'll leave this um, uh, this uh, this uh, Zoom open so you guys can, you know, make it make it happen. You guys can communicate. Uh, the team will stay here. Um, and you guys can, if y'all, if y'all want the software or whatever the case is, any, any, anything that y'all want, the team will stay here. Um, and I'll jump into the zoom meeting and I will see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate y'all. Let's get it. Let's go. Recording stopped.